Hello, I'm Sue. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 14. It is primal time today. The Leviathan is going down once and for all. We've got Marweb. Marweb is just in her command room, and we're down below with Chubbs having a good time. Just wondering, hmm, are we going to be jumping straight into this, or is she going to be like, oh, we've got to do this, 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 and this, and this before we can do this and take down the big boy? It's like being in Subnautica all over again with the Leviathan wanting it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. To the general's office we go. Are we expected in the command room? Please do tell the admiral waiting. Yeah, she has been waiting a full day. I don't know what she's going <laughs> to She's probably going to be a little bit not all. Everyone's here. Well, well, well. Greetings. How is everyone doing then on this fine day? There used to be a hamlet beyond South Tidegate in Western Lanosha. Halfstone, it was called. Yes, continue. Continue. Oh, did I just turn it up? What a donut. What a donut. Blowfish, you may continue. Blowfish. There you go, Blowfish. Some years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the calamity, <laughs> we were not so fortunate. Here in the ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fair leveled Hearthstone and washed the soil away for good measure. Yes. Yes! The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Well, they're going down. All right. Aye. The thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Oh! Given the quantity of crystals stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnation. Nah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, what befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement, even Limsa. Oh. That cannot happen. The primal must be. No, 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 no. We can't still. We can't have a uh, Limsa Liminza going down. No thanks. That was ever our objective, Admiral. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the third squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses. I have read the reports, Master Thancret. Master? Our oh, hello! <laughs> well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven hells. Seven. Is there no way that we might strike back? The company of heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet. But we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Admiral, if I may. Oh, yes, 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 Fred, tell us. Tell us, Fred! Speak freely, Marshal. Uh, no, it's Fred, sorry. By all accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. It's a fish! You can't disarm a fish! This, in effect, is what the company of heroes achieve with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. Oh, not again, not again, not again! We did this last time. If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us, rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Oh. I like this man speaking. Give him a race. Built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? I don't know what you want about. <laughs> don't know what you want about. Your pardon, my lady, but to give credit where it's due, 
This is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. Uh, would it you makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Naldic and Vermelis. Who's his friend? Hello? But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks, quite another. In matters oh, I think you go down quite a storm. I am as a babbling babe, but I cannot well imagine that such well. a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. Oh no, crystal the quests. The question being, do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? I can go check out back. I can go you see. Have not, Admiral, but too might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together, side by side, the better to bear his plunder. Oh, okay. Your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Mistbeard did this. Truly, Marshal. Upon the subject of the Pirate King, you are as a scholar. Scholar? Yes. I like this guy. Yes, Fred. Now, you... from what I have gleaned of these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required. But given the weight <laughs> of the cargo... <laughs> oh, I... That will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel. Man's got a plan. I like it. So we shall go forth with it. Yes, everyone's in agreement. Fred. Suffice it to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger. And I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. Oh! Fred! Will be dangerous for all involved. But we have no better recourse. Very well. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Oh, she's getting on the blower. Go on, tell him. Commodore. Yes. Assemble the remnants of the fleet at Morabi Bay. Oh, that sounds good. Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can. Work. Oh yeah, of course they can. Yep. All right. Storm Marshal Slapierson. Command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post haste. Damn. All right. All right. She's on it like a I car. Put it. Shadow. All right. Calm down, fish. Oh, don't give me that look, boy. Right. Don't give me that look, boy. And then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. Oh, that's fine. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We're going to go slay this thing. Being held as gods. Also, except. Gee, whoa, 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 easy. Easy. What you, Eminem? The legends tell us that we walked among us in the days of yore, but I must confess I truly never believed him. That I should live to behold one is humbling and horrifying in equal measure. Now, that I've come face to face with a primal, I do begin to understand why the Galeans feared them so. Oh, who feared that door? What is it? What? <laughs> what did you have to... A message, Admiral. I judged it is best to deliver at once. Yeah, that's why you had to boot down the door. I'm listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who claims to have defeated the Leviathan. Oh, yeah, obviously. One of the companies of heroes? The details are very hazy, Admiral. We have dispatched one of our own to question the individual. Hmm. I'm disciplined to put any store by his claim. Even should it be true, it is as Yelashola said, not, no, none save the company of heroes are bested in Leviathan. And we know how they went about it. If this man is of their numbers, what could he tell us that we already not know? And yet, having wagered Limsa's survival on two ships, some rope, and a pile of crystals, can we afford to ignore this man? If his testimony could yield 
us any manner of an advantage. Should we not hear it? Damn it all. The twin vessel will be ready soon. We have no time to wait for the Maelstrom report on this supposed Primal Slayer's claim. Yuko, seek out and learn what he knows. At the very least, he will spare the torment of waiting for the reckoning in the idleness. Ooh. The man you are looking for is to believe to be resided of the Grey Fleet in the Lower La Closa. The Storm Private sent to question him should be already in the vicinity. May your journey provide a fruitful. Thank you. I do love the fruitfulness that you have gave me. Now, do we have additional dialogue coming on here as well? When I saw the Leviathan rise from the depths, I cannot well describe what I felt. No words could prepare one for such sight. Yashoda, to confront the Lord of the Home in the watery domain is far from ideal. Yet he is not like to come with us. <sighs> what that he lacks means to strike from afar. All right, thank you, my boy. Being the observant adventurer that you are, you will be doubtless to have noticed my dagger work back at Slabla. Yes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know me, Yuko. I like to dabble in a bit of uh, this and that. Yes, all right. I like to see that. Get off. I don't want to talk to you, Fancred. Minfilia, that's the one I want to talk to. The Sahagan Elder claimed to have the Eternal, yet he was suddenly consumed by the Leviathan. Might we be impulled? And Blowfish, what do you have for me? We are plight unless any grim I shall not ask of you this, Yuko. But grim it is. And here we go to the Grey Fleet and find out what your fellow Primal Slayers know. If the Primal Slayer, he be. Oh, and you have my permission to break his bloody legs if he's lying. <laughs> to the storm. Way we go. Oh, that is a long way to go. But, you know, don't worry. We have a fat, a fat suit with us. Storm Private, what do you have for me? My farmer boy is still here as well. Look at him. Now look here, you're at the bloody story, right after the he's got the second grade over the mill. <laughs> he's chatting. Oh, we know he's chatting. He's done it before. Oh, but sir, that's what you said before when you had to pick up them oranges you sh for me. Oh, and I might have the chocobo stables. And before I rolled the miles, the millstone over the mill also before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are the gods, man? I've worked three days straight without a wink of a sleep. Three days and you do hear me complaining? Blah. I suppose some of it just ain't made for the rougher stuff. All right. All right. I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said that old trial of bond. <laughs> a generous soul. Now, prick those ears up because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, see? Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting. All right? All right, I'm telling you. Amen. The tale of the Tranabone epic, epic victory <laughs> over the dread primals, Lebevius. What? Uh, what? Lebevius? What? Oh, I'm not even pronouncing it correctly. And neither are you, so we're, we're, <laughs> we're at a stalemate here, okay? Huge. Make no mistake, to give you an idea how big, each of the scales is about as wide as the crosses. The members long. And that ain't no small feet, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, my. When I fought him, I could... Ba yes. Yes. <laughs> I could barely say... Oh, I knew he was a man to do all this long. He was peating me with must. Must have been a lagoon worth at least. He even knocked me trusty axe out of my hand at one stage. Of course, that provided to be a great... Grave mistake. <laughs> no, what happened next? Oh, you ain't falling for this garbage, are you? Why, I grabbed him and tied him up all in knots. But I'm not wanting to take all the glory for myself. I let my mates of the companies the heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I'm a modest as well as heroic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> perhaps too modest. Now, the summer say truly, oh, libidus. All right. Now they've got to learn to live with it and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, though. <laughs> now we bowl in. It's you. Yeah, don't chat, boy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention. Is it all taking back everything I said? <laughs> really? Really? I was never part of the company of the heroes. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm a chocobo dung. I'm nothing of magus, and you're wriggling in the chocobo dung. I have to lie to women to tumble them and don't make much happen. Remember's tiny, it's pathetic. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure as hell didn't fight Labinus. It's not Labinus! But I haven't seen it with my own eyes. That was a few years back, and uh, I was working as a baker hand, and I was shrinking me duties one day, loafing about the harbour, you know what you do, yep, 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 yep. When I saw it, oh, what? A giant, a giant, a, a, a giant, <laughs> a great big massive sea serpent, some arms off the coast with a fleet of galleons making straight for it, cannons firing, I was so bloody scared, I sawed myself right there and then. <laughs> what? Oh god, just remember that day makes me soil myself all over again. Oh! <laughs> hey, wait. If you were asking about Lapidus, it's not Lapidus. It's not Lapidus. Alright, it means you're planning to fight him, ain't you? Well, take care. He is really terrible. Dreadful, I tell you. Well, not careful. You'll end up like the gullet or at the bottom of the sea. Don't worry, I've played Subnautica. I know how to breathe underwater. I'm like a fish. <laughs> Why, you worthless, lying, whoreson, I can't believe you made me handle the chunk of my dog. <laughs> you got done. You got conned. Oh, we're going on the blower again. Hold on. You go, this is Minifilla. We were able to uh, learn aught of use against the Love Ivan. I beg your pardon, Lapidus. I see. This is unfortunate. At any rate, I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We await you at Morby Docks. Pray make your way here as soon as you are able. Thank you so much. All right, you mug. We'll probably meet one day in the future once again. Um, and you don't Mandeville flex on me without me flexing on you, buddy boy. All right, here it is. See this divine man of stature look? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, smashing boulders like Chris Redfield. Hell yeah. It's not like Venus. Also, Alves, Minifilla. Um, uh, don't know what you want. <laughs> don't know what you want. I don't know what chat's on about. I don't know what they're on about. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Alves criticizing someone else for their mispronunciation. <laughs> it comes full circle to. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello, is this a fellow Mandeville man? Let's see, let's see. Will he do it? What level is he? 54? Oh, he might do it. He might do it. Yes, yes. Will you join me? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, don't stand there. Don't stand there. You have two gentlemen in the room. Stand there like an ox. Still stiff as a pancake. Where am I going? Oh, what was that? Albs the Hick Fox. <laughs> Chad! Fish a slap. I will do and chat once again. Never get slapped by a fish. Would not say. Storm Marshal, have you had a stiff pancake? I'm told your jaunt to the Grey Fleet provided fruitless. Yes, it did. And it, my sympathies, lad. Our wager is served to take your mind off the events of recent days, though. But enough of that nonsense. The moment of truth is upon us. The twin vessel, the whore. I thought they said the whore eater. Then. <laughs> I thought they said the whore eater. I was like, what? Okay, this is taking a change. I call her. It's complete and she passes all my expectations. In addition to her prolegious tongueless, she has been fitted with a platform and that is yours that may maneuver freely in battle. I would also mention that nigh unsinkable, but I am not tempted. Fate. Yes, I do call that fate. The whole leader and her crew stand ready, my friend. Just give the word and we shall bear you to the Leviathan. Mm. Didn't even wake up the dog. Then I must blow harder next time. Lord of the Whore. Stands ready to send off to your encounter with the Lord of War. Hey, hey, Grey Fox. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, I know that look. You are ready. Having been constructed in some haste, the whore reader may not be pretty, but I can assure you she is capable. I bet she is. She has been fitted with what our friends at the... Okay. No. Yep. Yes, yes. Calling an elemental... Converter. Assuming the thing works, it will use the power of the corrupted crystals on board to rob the Leviathan of his hold over water. Depending on how the battle unfolds, you may need to activate the device manually. Keep that in mind. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> what? It is expected that the Sahagin and their thralls will attempt to come to the Leviathan's defense. According to the Maelstrom, once again employ diversions, Fankrit and the Ashola. I would have assist 
in this effort. It is to fulfill its purpose, your divisionary force must not want. For numbers. But you'll leave. I could to volunteer my blade. We would welcome it. Having seen you fight in Splat, yes, I dare say the fishback will find your presence highly diverting. Thank Ritter the Shola. If you would join the third Levy and Lady Yugi and the fifth. Woo! Woo! I do like the taste of stiff pancakes in the morning. But what words have I for the man who has made a sport of slaying gods? Oh, yes. First of his name. Only these go worry for the sea is an unforgiving place to wage war. May the navigator guide you through the storm, warrior of light. Thank you so much. I will use my head as a light. Would echo the admiral's sent sentinels and add a few words of my own. No, that we have the utmost faith in you, Yuko. May the crystal bless you and keep you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Grey Fox. Thank you so much. Oh, the whore eater hard. Yes. Is it? <laughs> is it? Is it hard or is it flaccid? I will never know. Until we get the bunny boys. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is time. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Horse slayer, whore eater. What? <laughs> Noodle time. Oh no. I can be your hero, baby. Oh damn. Damn, that is really bold. <laughs> it is like being in some Nordica again. Oh, hello? All aboard! This was the day that you almost called Captain Jack Spam. Bump! Boink! Boink! Oh, what a cheating mug! Uh, 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 none of that! Oh! <laughs> Cue the part of the Caribbean music! Dun 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 I'm ready for you. Rise up, fool! There it is. <laughs> oh yes. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Look how majestic it is. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Let's go. So what have we got? What have we got now? Let me get out the boys, shall we? Oh, look how cool that is. Alright. Learn what we have learned from the Crystal Tower. DPS. Gotta make sure my fingers are fully operational today. I love that glam. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's already started. <laughs> it's already started. Let's point him. Like we've never pointed before, people. Oh, his health is a chunky boy. You trespass in my domain. Don't. Not in your domain. Don't laugh. Oh. Alright, what have we got going next? What have we got going next? Oh. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There's a tail behind us. Oh. What? Oh, no wonder we needed two tanks. No wonder we needed two tanks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Save. <laughs> Do we avoid that for now? Oh, we got some other things to take out as well. Oh, he's henchmen. Really? Go away, you mugs. 
Alright, travel the dodge, show the love. Oh, there you go, 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 there you go. <laughs> oh, gay. Oh, my boy. Oh, my boy. So we got some geezers trying to take out the tail as well. I don't know if I should focus that on. Because that hasn't got any dots. There's one person concentrating on that at the moment. All aboard! Oh, you're sucking me in. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no sucking. No sucking aboard the vessel, boys. There it is. Nice. No, not that. I don't need the hell, do I? Really? Why do you think you need healing? A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. That tail really poses a threat, but it's so strong. What's he doing now? What's he doing now? Hello? Hello? Oh, down he goes. <laughs> down he goes. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. That was cool, but I might have bricked it a little bit. My, 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 Oh, oh, hold on. I might have to. Just, just dismiss. Concentrate on that. It's got low health. Bye. Right. Bye. Right. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how much of a priority these are, but. From other dungeons and stuff, normally take out the ads. And normally just important as the boss itself. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! He is so true. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Oi, oi, easy, easy, sunny boy. Turn up to the band. Oh, I have to. All right, boys, we're in. Oh, oh, nice time to dance with my fingers. All right, watch this dance. Watch this dance. Yes, yes, you love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> Good, you go. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that health is just going, going, going. Oh, the boys are in. The boys are in. Oh, don't show him no mercy. <laughs> Execute. Oh, yeah, this is hard. This is hard. Not as hard as the buddy's is, but we'll take it. 31. Yes, yes. Ooh. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. How we looking? How we looking? How we looking? <laughs> Buddy boy. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got to show you the good stuff today, no? If I'm getting involved, I've got to show you. Oh, 25% health. I love that. I love it. I love it. You do love to see it. Oh, <laughs> 
Alright, I'll hit you with a little bit of cheeky one of them. I don't mind being cheeky today. That's recharging. That's fine. Lovely. Now I can hit him with one of these. Right, like someone slap him with the ultimate. Someone slap him. Someone show him. Get that anime in. Get that anime in. Get that anime in that we want. There it is. Yes. Oh, we focus it. Focus, 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 focus. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. It's hard, but not as stiff as a <laughs> not as hard as a stiff pancake. Hell. Yes. Yes, 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 chat. We got it. Yes, yes. Is everyone here? Everyone here? Everyone's here. Let's G pose it up, shall we? Lovely. Hey, I see that, Yuko. I see that. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining me on this amazing primal. I'd say so far that this primal is the best one so far. There were two because you had the power of the Echo. Now the sushi is set. Who wants a little taste of Leviathan? Alright, let's go see, shall we, Chad? Let's see what cutscene we get. What? We get no cutscene, but I'm greeted to a frog. <laughs> I get to a frog. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I get greeted to a frog. <laughs> oh, what a fat stud. Oh, that's my day made. To limbs and the bins, we must go. Do you have anything for me, Franklin? Another notch on the old belt, is it? Oh, well done, my friend. Well, I, God, I dare say I would tremble at your summoning. Well, well, well. It's the mighty book boy, that is. So often do I achieve the impossible that I fear my words of congratulating mm, will begin to sound repetitive. If indeed, they may not already. With this in mind, I shall say only that I am glad of your safe return. So am I. Thank you so much. That such being can be defeated runs contrary to all I know. Whence comes the strength and sense of purpose. My congratulations, Yuko. This victory will serve... Too quiet in the Sahagan for a time at least. What you have for me, Fred? Oh, my. Really? I didn't ask for an essay. A number of things did not go exactly to plan. I will admit, the Leviathan divide denied us the luxury of ramming him. Okay, you want to ram a fish? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, I'll go buy one from the market. And you can go ram it all you like. Okay? All right, Fred, what do you do in your private business? Does not concern me. For one... But let's not dribble over... Dribble? What? Over the matter of the victory, huh? If Limser is safe and we are yet undrowned, I conclude that it's been a good day. Now, go and bask in the Admiral's gratitude. Will you? You will have certainly earned the right. Well, I was going to before you were talking about ramming fish. My web. Let's get back at the subject at hand, please. Can you get Fred out of the room, please? We are sworn to strive. Yes, we are. Sea Not ramming all. fish! And swallow all it would have had Leviathan prevailed. That we still strive now, we owe in no small part to you. Not for the first time, you no, have no, delivered no Limsa Lominsa from the wrath of a primal. Never has our nation known a stouter ally. On behalf of my people, I give you my humblest thanks. Tis meet that I give thanks to old Mistbeard, too, for his fine solution. Whatever else he may have been, tis clear he was a resourceful soul. Would that I had a man like him in my service. No, you do not. He rams fish, okay? 
Before I set foot in these lands, I had no inkling that the people of Eorzea contended with such mighty foes. Suffice it to say, their existence came as something of a shock, as did the idea that they could be defeated. Have you met my book? experience has served to remind me of the vastness of the world and the boundless potential of man. Woo. Though I am but a refugee in this realm, no, you're not. Not anymore. I would fain be of use to you in your fight. Know that I am tutored in one of the foremost combat arts of the Far East. It may seem outlandish to the Eorzean eye, but should any of your people care to learn, I would be pleased to initiate them. Oh! And I will see to it that they are grateful. I have no doubt that your knowledge and skills will serve us well. Besides, your art is not so outlandish as you think. Would you not agree, Master Thancred? No, I do like it. <laughs> You're one as well, boy. Not escapes your searching eye, Admiral. She knows. Yugi is to the to to this information. But Limsa Lominsa is home to a certain secret fraternity. Its members are trained in a form of combat not unlike your own. By my judgment, it should not be beyond such individuals to adapt to the techniques I witnessed you employing with such admirable deftness. I am heartened to hear this. I too noted a kinship between your style and mine own. Though it seemed to me that you fought differently in the beginning. Mm, yes, it did. <laughs> Look I, at Yuko stud. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a man of many talents. Oh, okay, calm yourself. <laughs> calm yourself. Though you may labor to believe it, Thancred was once something of a scoundrel who fraternized with the criminal class in these parts. Oh, did he? Okay. You stole her. <laughs> you stole her. You stole her. But for a chance encounter with Alfino's grandsire, he might never have left Limsa Lominsa, or received an education in Charlian, or taken up his post in Uldar, which is where he trained in the Blade, lest you wonder. Uh, Minfilia, please! <laughs> Minfilia! <laughs> Hold on, I will get to the- there is more to you than meets the eye, Master Thancred. I like that he calls her- or she calls him Master Thancred. Okay. Lady Yugiri, I am told that you and yours came to Eorzea seeking permanent resettlement, and that many domains have since been engaged as frontier hands at Revenant's Toll. Moderna is many things, but a place of refuge it is not. Know that I would like nothing better than to furnish your people with a new home here on Lominson soil. Alas, oh! backed by instability as we are, our nation is in no fit state to take you in. Yet I'll not have it said that we turned a blind eye to your suffering. Until such time as we can do more, I pledge to send provisions. Oh, that's a punk moment. Oh, blowfish. We are in your debt, Admiral. Blowfish! I realize that it scarce qualifies as repayment. But if it please you, I shall set about sharing my martial knowledge with your people at once. Hey! Hey! Oi! Oh, yes! Blowfish! Oh, oh, hold on. I will get to the bits in just a moment. Just letting the cutscene play out. You wished a word in private. The better not to spoil the festive mood. History repeats itself, Admiral. As the kobolds did before them, the Sahagin resorted to summoning their god over a territorial feud. They acted in self-preservation. It may be that the Sahagin initiated this particular clash, but how it begins does not interest me so much as how it ends. I have not forgotten our conversation, Yashtola. I am aware that man bears part of the blame for the Primal's existence. Nor am I ignorant of the Sahagin's reason for acting. 
They sought to secure a place to breed and multiply that their kind might survive. Self-preservation, as you say. But we have as much right to live and thrive as they. If our own survival is threatened, are we to lay down our arms and welcome oblivion? Nay. <laughs> Nay. And so you kill, that you might live. Yet if living is a right, then that right belongs to all peoples, be they men or beastmen. I'll not deny your reasoning, but when a storm gathers, it falls to me to see my people safely through it. That is my duty, and I shall do it. Woo! Woo! Oh, we like that. Oh, Yugi's listen on. As must we all, Admiral. Stay the course then, but know that it will lead to no good end. Is this foreshadowing? Man has ever put himself first and foremost. To justify his actions, he clads himself in the armor of righteousness, though it be a fancy of his own making. In this, mayhap the Garleans and we Domans are not so different. Eorzea has become as a raging sea. If we are to keep our heads above the waves, we cannot scruple to drown the man next to us. When hopes of coexistence founder, strength must determine who has the greater right to live. Oh. Okay. Lord of the Hall, thank you so much. I will take that. Hell yes! Limza, Laminza, the lower deck. Watch. Hmm. Got business with me, Ventura? Yes, I do. Have this. And if you would like to go buy some uh, fish off the market, they're very cheap at the moment. So you're the man the Admiral sent word of. I was hoping I might catch a glimpse of Fankrid. Too. It's been a while since I saw that shite eating grin. What? But with all those doe eyes wenches about. Uh, excuse me. What? And you must be the Far Easterner at what Marweb says wants to train with us. Welcome to Limsa, my lady. I'm Yuri Girl of Doma. This is an honor to make your acquaintance. I must confess, when I first learned of your organization, I had certain pre-comprehensions uh, pre as to the nature of your membership. It would seem I was mistaken. So you're not the first person to say that less. Limsa's a city of pirates, to be sure, and the pirates... Do not give too far about keeping the spotless reputation. They hardly need a secret society to do their dirty work. Might as well be my people and I keep to the shadows, but I've got nothing to be ashamed of. It's simply better for business but remain unseen. And so you have developed a fighting technique suited for this purpose, I see. Know that the practitioners of my art, too, are of shadow this in the stealth that is our strength lies yes i am master of stealth if you do not know this there is much we might learn from one another i think then what in the seven hells are you waiting for if you come with us you agree to what's it <laughs> we can get acquainted in more private surrounds ha huh. didn't think of that outcome did it Master Yuka, I shall remain with these people for a time that I might study their ways. Though I am loath to be separated from my countrymen, I take solace in the knowledge that they are best of hands. You have been a true friend to Donovan's. No word would suffice to express my gratitude. Ere long, I hope to begin imparting my martial knowledge to the people of Awazia. When that time comes, it would be my honor to welcome you as a student. Hey, yes, I will take that. I will take that. Yugi, oh, through the maelstrom. Yugi has the air of a woman bustling with gratitude. <laughs> Next patch, selling kill for kill. <laughs> 
Much more and more has occurred since the first I beheld Awazia from the Galon's deck. Suffice to say, I did not envision being invited to play a part in your noble struggle. But forgive me, I've kept o you over long. Doubtless you have been pressing business of your own. Rest assured that I no longer require an escort in this land. When you next meet Lady Menphilia, play, pray, re rely to the humblest thanks. With that, I would do so in person, but I must fulfill my promise to the Admiral. Till we meet again, Warrior of Light. To the rising stone we go. To the rising stone we go. Oh, Flannel, hello. Welcome back. You do flatter me, dude. And I do believe you have a bit too much to drink. Is Fancred drunk? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Some 15 years ago. And, uh, <coughs> took me to all dark. Thus, then, I had the first chance to gaze upon your beauty. I was utterly fist transfixed. <laughs> I do not dare blink. I <coughs> deprive myself of a split second of your radiance. <laughs> Thank you. I think you need to sit down, my son. <laughs> Economic stream when? Uh, chat. When would you want a market stream? How bad? I'll put it to you. Ada, don't mind Pamelino. He's making a fuss over nothing as usual. Your listener's sense of balancing is amazing for an age, uh, for a boy of his age. I wonder how he gets so good. He's seen the book boy. What the seven the hells are you doing up there? Get down before you can break your neck. Uh, my boy. You think this is impressive? In Doma, we train to run in the treetops. Well, you continue to be Connor from Ezio, or Assassin's Creed, and I think it'll be fine. The Rising Stones, what a particular name for a sanctuary. Oh, okay. Tataru, what do you got for me? On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Rising Stones. With your cooperation, we hope to grow rich and transform this place into a piling gold. Tee -hee. Oh, you go, forgive me, but I must see the domain's needs. Honest, uh, Yashola. History is our friend, young one. The answers to the problem of the present are off to be found within the past. We need to seek them out. All right. What if you wanted to solve a problem that's already happened, like the Galeans destroyed Doma? Oh, nothing we can do on that, can we? Ah! Dumbledore, you're still here! Our adventurer bends not to authority, but lives and acts according to his own beliefs. He is the master of his own destiny. Well, thank you. I have been tasked with helping out in the kitchen. Once I have grown accustomed to my duties, I hope to treat our hosts to the traditional donor cuisine. Oh, I'd love to try some. In my native land, there exist individuals not unlike these adventurers, yet without a master to serve. How does one know the path in which we walk? You're free, my boy. Just do what you like. This is stupid. People selling stuff for less what they were selling to the retainer. Yeah, yeah, who does that? Who's that? Who does that? <laughs> Agreed. But some people are donuts. I have been reflecting upon the Indeed. events which took place during our visit to Vilbrand. What donuts? If you have a moment, I would share my conclusions with you. Please, bear with me. When the Sahagin Elder summoned Leviathan, he employed the power we have come to know as the Echo. Though I cannot well explain the how of it, it would seem he became immortal in so doing. When the Admiral subsequently slew him, his spirit emerged from his lifeless flesh, a consciousness shorn of physical form. Thus transfigured, he took up residence in the body of his minion with the ease of a man donning a favorite glove. Long have I known that the Echo allows one to pass through the walls of a man's soul. But never did I imagine that it could free us from our own flesh, nor less that our souls could then occupy the next corporeal vessel to take our fancy. It was of this that Elidibus spoke, an existence which knows neither cessation nor oblivion. Oh, so that's yet, why we have millions of characters. Though the Sahagin had mastered his gift and thereby become immortal, he was by no means invulnerable. As uh. we both bore witness, he was ultimately absorbed into Leviathan. What is that? And the import of this observation? If the Asians' mode of existence is indeed the same, it can be inferred that they too are not invulnerable, that they can be destroyed. 
I think the fish was back to bite us in the there arse. There exists a legend which tells of souls who are reborn upon the, the candle. Of <laughs> that they might stay the encroaching darkness. <laughs> the to cat. most, it is but a fairy tale. Yet recent events have given me cause to wonder. Could the legend in fact refer to the echo? Much and more yet remains unknown. But I am confident that all will become clear in time. But that's why the warrior of light can never die then, because the he will... For the present, however, what matters is that the key to defeating the Asians may at last be within sight. With Uriange's aid, uh, it is my hope that I shall fathom this matter ere long. Uh, it's Umbria. There he is, Umbria. Welcome. Oh, I was just about to send for you, my friend. Is... Artemis? Well, if he's running in, he's definitely so wrong. Grave tidings from the Charlian motherland, my lady. I'm it listening. Does concern our distant allies, the students of Valdesian. What of them? My lady, the Isle of Val, which for many years hath been the Order's home, is no more. No more? Whatever do you mean? Uh. I relate only that which hath been conveyed unto me by our agents. An etheric wave of the highest magnitude was recorded in the region. Soon thereafter, it was observed that the isle had ceased to be. Oh! Tis postulated that a magic was evoked. Like in power to Ultima. Someone just went, alright, I'll take this island. This is now mine. Yoink. Twelve preserve. Someone just yoinked an island. Okay. Really? I won't you, you little mug. There are no other matters. I move that today's meeting be adjourned. Sorry, I didn't catch that. I was asleep. Left outside alone. I will never be. Never know. Um. Hello? It is done, my lord. I. <clears throat> Forgive my impertinence, my lord, but these orders, I am uncertain as to what end they serve. Uh. Revolution. Uh, excuse me, Lalafels equal demons? Correct. Revolution? Uh, so he's the one that yoinks the island. Oh, I'm gonna go have words with this mug. Oh, I get some new earrings as well. I'll take that. Very nice. Uh, dexterity, strength, and also strength and critical hit. Well, I will take... we go with the one with the A. Why not? From Heaven Sword onwards, their voice acting moved from the US to the UK, I believe. So most voices change. Lala Fells are either monsters or cinnamon rolls. <laughs> the plot fans! Now, this is 2.3, isn't it? So, we shall leave that for now.